Welcome back. I am the Clay Golem. This is Foundry VTT. It is version 12. And in this video, we're in my testing world. We're going to be looking at searching for stuff. Uh, because if you are a DM, you will know there's nothing more frustrating than not knowing where you put that piece of paper that has that important clue on or scrolling through quickly through the monster manual to find those monster stats, whatever it may be. Um, we can end up accidentally getting disorganized because perhaps something's happened that we weren't expecting. Oh, we, we didn't think that they were going to do that. Oh, they've cast a summon spell that we weren't expecting them to do. Um, so sometimes we need to grab stuff on the fly. So we, that's what we're looking at in this video. Ways that we can quickly find the stuff we want. Now, I'm looking at my compendiums on the right hand side here. And of course... Is, uh, so we're going to use two examples here. We're going to use an item. We're going to use the Lightbringer item that comes for part of the Fandelva campaign. And also for this scene, I randomly want to add in an extra Hobgoblin. Why would I want to do that? Well, it doesn't matter. That's what I want to do. So what I can absolutely do, of course, is I can go to my D&D Beyond folder or my SRD content. I can go to my Monsters, open up my monsters SRD and I can if I can type I've got to click in there first I can type in hobgoblin there he is and I can just drag him out and we're good to go um, yeah I didn't want to actually pop him out for the moment so I can absolutely do that I can drag him over here into my uh, my characters uh, or I can slap him straight down there whichever I want to do now every time I copy this out from here you can see it's adding a new version. So we wouldn't want to do that going forward. We would want to just slap out the one actor and um, and just put it out on the on the uh, on the scene multiple times, wouldn't we? Because there's no point in having you know 30 hobgoblin actors when actually they're all the same. <laughs> it's all the same one. So we can do that. Um, and we want to find Lightbringer. Okay, I know I know I've got Lightbringer somewhere. Is it in items? Is it? I can again. I can search light it's not in there right where is that is that in the D&D &D Beyond one because it comes from Fandelva I have to be able to type <laughs> there we go we've got Lightbringer so now I can drag that across to Soriman's character or whomever of course uh, he's now got Lightbringer so yeah it's not that difficult if you can remember which damn cam, uh, compendium stuff is in, or you know that you've got it. So how can we make this easier? Now, if you look at the top of the compendium thing, it says search compendium packs. Now, it's very tempting to think that I can go, well, actually, I can type Lightbringer in here. Oh, hang on a minute. It's not finding anything. I've got some filters here. I want to find an item, Lightbringer. Nah, not happening. Um, Okay, well, if that's not going to work, let's uh, let's clear those filters. Good. Let's try searching for our go away filters. Let's try searching for our hobgoblin. Oh, that's not working either. Let's filter. It's going to be a type of actor again. Uh, no, nothing. That doesn't work. The reason why is, uh, and this might be slightly misleading. Search compendium packs. It's not searching within those compendiums. It's only searching for the pack itself. So if I wanted to find a monster, I could absolutely search for mon monster. And now you can see, look, monster features, monsters, DDB monsters. It's going to find the compendium. So if you've got lots of compendiums, you can, you know, help narrow down. But I've still got to come in here. I've still got to search for it. I've still got to bring it out. So it's not, that's not ideal, is it? So the inbuilt search functions, not fantastic. So this brings us on to the first of two modules we want to look at in this video, which is quick insert, which is a search widget. So this is by Sunspots. It's completely free. Um, it's just a little module that adds on called quick inserts that's all I've got in here so you know everything we're doing is related directly to this module how do we use this really simple if I hold down control and I press the space bar I get this little text box in the middle and I can type in what I want now just getting as far as light you can see that it is brought up a quite a large range of different things all containing the word light 
So it's bringing in light hammer plus three, lightning, blight, even though it begins with a B, it's got the word light in there, lightning storm, light crossbows, etc. And Lightbringer. It's brought in two versions of Lightbringer uh, because I made a version of Lightbringer. Um, but there's also the one that's brought in through D&D Beyond because it's pulling that from the Fandelver campaign that I own. And just to the right of where it's got the name of the item, you can see where it's pulling it from. So monster features, this lightning storm, lightning breath, it's pulling it from the monster features SRD compendium. Uh, Lightfoot halfling, it's pulling it from the races SRD compendium. Spells from the spells SRD compendium. But also D uh, DDB spells, so the D&D Beyond spell so we've got lightning bolt there as well lightning lightning lure but if we look at lightbringer not only is it bringing in the one from the D, D beyond items compendium it's also looking in my directory so going to my items here i've got these two things so it's it's finding this one so it's not just searching the compendiums which is really useful so if you know what it's called you can find it. And then I go, oh, hang on a minute, which version do I want to use? Now, obviously, you know, <laughs> only you can work out which one you need to use. Um, do I want to use the one from the compendium? Or if I've already got it in my item thing, I may have made changes. So I need to bring that in. So essentially, this is what it does. So let's, uh, let's open Sorryman up. Uh, I've got to stop using that phrase, haven't I? Uh, and once again, just search for Lightbringer. There we go, easy peasy, and I can drag that across. It's in his character sheet. Much, much quicker than looking for, I mean, it, you know, <laughs> it's called quick insert for a reason. Much, much quicker than going through all of those compendiums. I can just search for what I want, you know, and, and add it in. Now, it, I can also, just so you're aware, I want to select Lightning Bolt. Now, if I hold Shift, I can select a Lightning Bolt. Oh, it says I can. Oh, it's gone. That didn't work at all. Should be able to hold shift and be able to select multiple items. But as you just saw, as I did that, it didn't want to do it. Uh, so let's, uh, holding shift, I should be able to select light. Nope, it's just going to open it for us. Okay, so it does say um, it should be, uh, you should be able to do that and it won't automatically close the search. That's clearly not quite working. Now somebody might well say um, that that's me and I'm doing something wrong. Please let me know in the comments if that's the case. But it definitely says that if I hold shift, I should be able to just... It shouldn't close the search for me, but it does. Uh, let's have a quick look, see if there's a setting that I've missed. That will... Uh, there's no reason why there would be a setting, but we can have a quick look. We've only got the configure here uh, and we've got all of these settings, so... Only GMs will be allowed to use the quick insert. We've got some options there, of course. Character sheet integration only available for selected systems. Adds quick inserts, uh, search buttons in the character sheets, which could be really useful. Um, automatic indexing, etc. We've got some user permissions here. Lots of different stuff that we can set if we want to. I'm only looking at the defaults at the moment, but what's really useful here is you can tell it actually we can set permissions and say no, players are not allowed to search in feats if that's what you wanted to do. Um, no, uh, players are not allowed to search in, well, it's already got turned off. They're not allowed to search for macros and roll tables. You might also say that you don't want them searching for actors and things. Uh, so you can set this quite, uh, quite nicely. We've got global filters here as well that you might want to play with. Say, actually, I only want you to pull spells from a certain location, maybe the D&D uh, &D Beyond rather than the SRD. Um, and things like that. Now, with the upcoming 2024 uh, release of the new PHB and Dungeon Master's Guide for D&D, &D, this search, by the way, works. It's system agnostic. It's not just for D&D. &D, it'll work for any of your games. But for D&D &D specifically, with those coming new rule books, you might find, oh, hang on a minute, we've now got two versions of the rule books. We've got the 5th Ed Edition, and then we've got the 2024 ed uh, version. Um, which one do I want it pulling from? Because it's got access to both.
So these filters are really useful for that. Global filters, and you've also got personal ones. So there's plenty to customize, which is really, really nice. Um, so let's just do that hobgoblin first. And as you can see, it's gone straight in and it's gone, yeah, I've only got one version of Hobgoblin. It's from the Monsters SRD. And of course, if I... <laughs> I've clicked off of it. Um, there we go. There's our Hobgoblin. And got as far as Hob. If I stick him out there, it's then going to stick him in the Actors tab for me. And I can drag as many out as I want. So that's just a couple of examples how we can do it. Uh, I haven't got any journals set up here. But if I call this... Um, Let's call this Oogie and say I've got a journal entry, entry called Oogie and get rid of that. I should be able to also, there we go, I can search and it will bring up that journal entry. So it's going to work for actors, it's going to work for items, it's going to work for backgrounds, um, for feats, it's going to work for journal entries. It pretty much works across the board, which is really, really nice. Um, yeah, love that. That's really good, isn't it? I think so. Okay, so let's move on and look at the next section of this. Um, and we saw just then in the options about searching on character sheets. So on our tabs here, you can see just at the top, if I hover over this, it says quick insert. It says quick insert. Um, and we've got that on our features and we've got that on our spells. So we can click on that and it's automatically brought up our search for us and we can find that now we've already got an armored defense of course but just getting as far as ua una it's bringing up our unarmed strike it's bringing up our unarmored defense for barbarians so if you're making your characters directly uh, in foundry which a lot of you will i use uh, D, D beyond and then import but you absolutely can do it direct in here which has always been a little bit fiddly but this makes it so much easier um, we can just bring that in, whatever it might we might want to bring in for us. Now, what about spells? It's like, oh yes, I want to be able to give them a spell. Let's add in a first level spell, uh, and I want him to have. And look, it's searching in spells. I can find my magic missile, and yep, straight away I've got it at SRD or D and D Beyond, whichever. And there we go. I can drag that straight in, and he's now got innate spell casting because it's not because I've just dragged it straight on for his magic missile spell, which is fantastic, and that's going to just work straight away. So that's really, really nifty. The fact that you can just straight away go in and search for what you want. Um, adding on things like the other features, etc., that all there. So you can quickly build your characters. So if you've got players sitting there with the PHB open um, and they're saying, oh, yeah, I'm going to take that feat, I'm going to take this feat, brilliant. Just You can just drag them straight in uh, and add those on with no drama. Um, we, don't, we can, of course, come in here and add on a new thing, which we're going to create ourselves, but we don't want to do that if we've got it in the SRD. Uh, so that's it. So, it, I mean, you know, it's it's simple, but really effective, really easy to use. Quick insert. It does what it says on the tin. Very quickly searches everything and enables you to see what it is you want. All right. So we're going to get rid of that now. Um, because we want to look at something different. So active modules, we get rid of quick insert and instead we're going to bring in... Uh, we're, I've lost it. Where have I lost it? Uh, I want to bring in quick... Uh, not quick insert, we just looked at that. We're going to spotlight Omnisearch. So this is going to do something very similar. Let's just check to make sure... It, da -da, it's going to work. Um, this is a Ripper mod, if that wasn't really, really obvious. And immediately it's come up with a little help. So this is also going to do um, shift and space to open the Omni search so that we can actually have a look at this. Now, escape to get rid of it or, or click outside the search area. Uh, press enter to confirm the first result. Shift or Alt and Enter to execute first or second action. So really, really useful. It's on here. And you can filter your searches by type. So you can use an exclamation mark item and it will filter it 
by those types, which is really good. Thank you very much. We'll get rid of that. So I just want to quickly double check that I've only got that one module installed now. Good, because I don't want to confuse it by having two searches running at the same time. And shift space rather than control space. And I've got my search here. So let's look at light bringer. Now this is bringing up lots of extras, isn't it? So it just looks different from this point. Um, we've got flashlight, magical light, remove light. So this includes actual for DM tools as well, which is really nice. We've got source light animation. We've got all of these things. Keep scrolling down. And now I've got my item light bringers here as well, which is good. I can keep scrolling down lots and lots of things. So if I continue and type in the whole thing light bringer, there we go. I've got both of them that we expect to find that we found with the quick insert as well. Uh, it just looks a bit different. I mean, you know, it's up to you whether you decide that this looks prettier or not. But it will again, it will tell you um, where these things are. And we can, of course, just drag them out. And I don't think I put that on, sorry, man. But notice this hasn't vanished immediately because I've not actually tried to get rid of it yet. So it's staying there while I'm doing this and I can drag my light bringer straight onto Soriman and there we go. And then if I click escape, it's gone. I close the sheet as well. Uh, so really nice and easy, very simple to use, just like quick insert. Personally, I think it looks a bit nicer myself. Okay, and there's our hobgoblin and it's brought up two hobgoblins here because we've now got one in our actors tab as well as having the one from the SRD. So I can just pull that straight from my actors tab and I can pull out as many as I want to and I can either hit the cross um, to clear the search or just hit escape to take that out. So again, really, really simple and easy to use. So just like with the other one, for the Spotlight Omni Search, you can use it for searching for pretty much anything. So what do we call our journal? Let's find that. It was Oogie. Oogie. There we go. <laughs> Ever. And it's found it and it's opened it straight up. So we can use it for that as well. Now other things we can search for. So we can search for items, actors, scenes, journals, uh, and all of those in compendiums or already within our our tabs over here. So it's going to find elephant here and it's going to find it in the SRD as well. So we can look for that. We can also look for things like um, for um, for effects, weather effects and stuff like that. Let's try that, shall we? Because uh, there's no point in saying, oh, it can and then not actually trying it. Whoops, the daisy didn't want to do that, did I? Miss key on my F12. Sorry about that. Um, what happens if we do rain? Well, apart from the fact that we've got rain in draining and drain and hallucinatory terrain, we've got our rain effects here um, as well. It's now raining. I want to up that to rainstorm. I want to degrade that down again. So how nice is that? So even with weather effects, we can quickly say, you know, oh, uh, suddenly it's raining. Brilliant. Or maybe somebody casts a spell that causes it to change weather effect or something like that. It's like, oh, hang on a minute. Yeah, I need fog. It's now foggy. Yeah. Uh, outside of the actual spell fog cloud. We can just do that. So that's really nice. That's a really nice addition that we get with this. Um, again, it depends what you're going to want to use it for. You can use it for all sorts of things. Uh, weirdly enough, um, for well, I mean, there might be good reasons for it. Um, it comes with some additional functions that you possibly hadn't really thought of is um, you can actually use this to do uh, as a dice roller as well. So I think if we do something like, there we go, quick roll, 1d20. Uh, and if we check our chat over on the right, there we go, we've done that. So we can use it to do a quick roll just by typing R and then our dice roll in there. That's pretty cool, isn't it? So, you know, I mean, we've got it down on the right hand side. So how useful is this? I don't know, but you can just there. Um, what else can we use it for? We can use it for doing a quick bit of maths. 
So it's got its built-in calculator. So again, instead of having a calculator on your desk or having a, a calculator app open in another window and stuff, you can do this this little stuff here. And I just said it's copied it to clipboard there. So uh, I should be able to paste that result into there if I want to. So yeah, a little dice roller, a little calculator. Um, I think you can do um, a couple of other things we can do with it. Um, let's uh, whoops, make sure I'm clicked on the right thing. Thank you very much. We can, you can set a timer. Let's just make sure I do this correctly. Um, so you can, oh, you can see it's bringing up the spells, of course. But we've got a timer here that we can use. I just want to get this right. Um, so you see, so we can do timer five minutes uh, and you know you can set timers and stuff like that obviously you can see all of this in the wiki it tells you how to do all of these you can create a tracker with it uh, you can make notes with it if you want to I can get my oh, timer still running good because that's what we asked it to do that's just running away there we should be able to do notes as well see we've got a quick note option Qu quick note um, Okay, notes saved in OmniSearch Notes Journal. So we go to uh, Journal and we've got OmniSearch Notes and we've got a journal in here. This is a, oh yeah, this, this, to say this is a note. Um, lovely. Um, there's a counter, there's a tracker. Um, yeah, nice few little additions. Okay, you know, how much am I going to use those? How much am I likely to use? Oh, actually, I might use that calculator. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of dice rolling. I might do. Um, I'm probably not going to use an awful lot of those things. So really, what's the difference between the two? So we've got Ripper's uh, Spotlight Omni Search, and we've got Sunspot's Quick Insert. Both do a very similar job. Um, you need to decide which you prefer. If you want my opinion, I think Ripper's looks nicer. Um, I like the fact that it doesn't straight away close that window. I might be wanting to search for more than one thing. I like the fact that there are those couple of little other options if I want it. If I want to put a timer on, it's just there. I can do it right in front of us. Um, personally, I'm going with Ripper's. Now, I just want to double check. I am pretty darn positive OmniSearch is a free one. Yes, it is. So it is a free module, same as Sunspot's one. So both of these are free modules. So you can choose whichever one you want based on functionality, what's going to be most useful for you. You haven't got to have an argument over, you know, um, paying for premium modules and stuff like that. So it works on version 12. Um, both of them do. Obviously, they're system agnostic. So it doesn't matter what game you're running. They will work, which is really, really good. So up to you make your choice you might not find that you need to do searches at all part of it's going to be about how you set up your game and how you organize yourself i try to organize my games that i should never have to search anything because i should have everything on hand ready to go and that comes from years of doing tabletop face-to-face -face bits of paper and if you're not organized you spend half the game looking for your post-it note um, and you don't want to do that as a dm that's rubbish because um, it just slows the pace up and the players get bored and then they start talking about something they watched on tv last night and you kind of lose it so i don't want to do that so you're quite disciplined i know you some of you are laughing i say i'm quite disciplined <laughs> you see <laughs> you see the state of some of my boundary organization you know with the way my scenes have been in the past and stuff um so I don't expect to use search, but am I going to have it installed? Heck, yes, I am. Yes, I am, because it's just going to give me that, if I if I need to, that surprise, the party do, does something unexpected, I can just go straight there, I can keep that flow going, find it immediately. We're looking at Curse of Strahd. There's lots of notes, there's lots of journals, there's lots of creatures as we continue to build that out. So it's going to be really nice to be able to just search that stuff. And some of the times when I'm using item piles to dump stuff to one side so it's easy to get. Well, actually, I can just find it. Oh, yes, you open up the chest uh, and inside is a mace. There we go. Have your light bringer. <laughs> 
it's so quick and notice there's a there's the use item tabs here as well so you can actually integrate those uh directly into your game and stuff um yeah i personally i think i'm going with spotlight omni search on this i think if i'm going to have a module installed i'm going to get the 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 one that has the most functionality that i'm most likely to use i also just like the look of this one this time is going down i should have put it for a bit shorter obviously that's going to go off in a minute but i'm not going to get you to hang around for another half a minute to watch just to watch that how dull anyway I hope that's been good. Um, I will take a look at um, the next few videos over the coming uh, the coming week. We're going to be looking at some uh, automation stuff. Fingers crossed. Chris's pre-made is currently in a closed alpha loop. Um, in other words, it's kind of ready. It's just checking to make sure things are good before released, which is, I know a lot of people have been waiting for that. Um, I've managed to yak time is it time has ended there we go <laughs> um managed to yak that long surprise surprise so we're going to be looking at a few of those videos we're also going to be looking at automating some of our spell effects and stuff some of it works automatically some of it doesn't so where can we bring in that stuff it's all part of that automation uh that's coming up in the next week take care guys hope you've had a nice week and i will see you in the next one